This special Monday Tech Tip is for all students. We have important information to share about the updates to student Google accounts over the weekend. Over the weekend, all student information from email and Google Drive accounts was moved to the new student domain. Instead of at sd5lrc.org, students will now log in and access their information from at stu.lexrich5.org. Students will use this to log into email and Google Drive. On district issued iPads, in order for email to work correctly, all students must re enter their birthday passwords. In order to have this prompt activate, please go into settings on your iPad and you should see a password require prompt appear. If the prompt appears, please enter your email password, which is your birthday, two digit month, two digit day, and four digit year. If you do not get the pop up message when you go into settings, you can Force an update by going to Settings, then Mail, Contacts, and Calendars, select District 5 Gmail, and your new email address should be there. That would be your five or six digit student number at stu.lexridge5.org. When you tap on Account, you can scroll down and where it says Password, put in your birthday password. If you use a personal device to access your school email, you will need to add the email to your iPad or other personal device again. On an iPad, you would go to Settings, Mail, Contacts, and Calendars, add your account, choose Google for type of account, and then fill in the appropriate information. Your new email account, which again is your five or six digit student number, at stu lexridge5.org and put in your password. For all Google Apps on your iPad, you will need to log out of old accounts and log in with new account information. This includes Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Photos, and any other Google tools you may be using. In order to log out and log in, you should use the three lines in the top left corner to manage your account and add the new account. These are the three lines in the upper left hand corner of any app. If you use another mail app, you will need to log in to that app with the new login information. For example, if you use the Gmail app. For Google Drive files, you should find that files from your old Google Drive should be in your new Google Drive. You might find that some share settings might not be the same. That might include files or folders shared from you or files or folders shared to you. You may find that some files are in different locations. For example, some files may be located in the main Google Drive folder as well as in subfolders for courses or classes. You may find that you need to reshare some files or folders with students or teachers. Do not delete any files in your new Google Drive for now. It is in your best interest to keep those files there and Google Drive file storage is unlimited. At this time, if you are using student email with any other accounts to create an account, please do not do anything to change that right now. We will have directions about this in the future. You can continue to use those accounts with the logins you created. Some examples would include Turnitin, EasyBib, your Apple ID, Quizlet, and other accounts. So if you created your Apple ID, using your at sd5lrc.org email, please continue to use that at this time. Again, this is your new student Gmail at stu.lexrich5.org. 
We ask that you be patient with this update and process. If you have particular issues with your account or other questions, please visit iCare before school or during lunches. Thank you.